Welcome to the Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 Storm Championships Season 1. My name is Melly and we're in Cologne. Thank you for joining me on site and of course, thank you very much for tuning in. It's going to be an amazing day and we also have amazing contests waiting for you. So before heading into the action and going too far into our day, you should definitely check out our contest. Check out the Facebook and Twitter pages for more information. Get involved and also use the hashtag Storm Championship to tell us what's on your mind. I will keep an eye on your tweets and I'll be looking forward from reading from you. And of course, yes, we're here in Cologne. Three online qualifiers brought us here. We have 16 players uh, waiting for you guys in a double elimination tournament. And the double elimination tournament, you know it of course, the winner advances to the next stage. The loser has to go to the lower bracket taking their second chances. But with the second loss being totally eliminated. And of course the matches will be a best of three and the grand finale will be a best of five. So people, you should definitely stick with us throughout the day because the winners of, our, uh, of today can win 15,000 euros in total and of course first place gets a beautiful trophy next to me but yes fifth to eighth place 650 euros fourth place 1000 euros third place one and a half thousand euros second place third uh, three thousand a thousand euros sorry that's kind of a mouthful and of course the first place six thousand euros and this beautiful trophy and yes before going too deep into the day, as said, before starting with our first match. I'd like to welcome on stage the European product manager from Bandai Namco, Benoit Scapazzoni. Hey. Yeah, Benoit, thank you. Thank you very much for joining us. And yeah, just tell us what, what's going to happen today. Thank you, Meli, for uh, your warm welcome. Um, so just a few words, because I'm sure you're all waiting for the games to start. Um, at Bandai Namco, we were monitoring the Storm community for the past few years and we really wanted to support you guys, you fans and all the people playing Storm games uh, for many years and we decided to organize this tournament especially for you, for the show. So better than words, let's start the games and enjoy the show. Thank you very much Benoit. Put your hands together for a product manager and yes. The first game, as you said, the first match is waiting for us. It's Spherix versus Young Sensei. And people, before further ado, of course, good players need awesome casters. Let's hand it over to Sam and Lou. Take it away. Yo, guys, this is Esther Storms HD. I'm a YouTuber and I'm going to be one of your casters today. And I am Slave. I'm a Twitter broadcaster and I've been a big, big fan of the Naruto Storm games for the past five years. We are Extremely excited to have you guys around with us today for what's going to be the biggest event for the Naruto Storm community ever. So really, um, today we're going to be things a tiny bit differently. Yep, we're going to be changing up the rules to make things extra epic. I'm going to pass, off, pass it on to Slace to explain and let us know how exactly we're going to do that. Exactly. So what's going to happen is the first matches up until the grand finals are going to be played by best of threes. So what's going to happen is basically the players can now play the same teams twice in a row. Yep. If, you know, in the case that both players would win one match, they have the right to pick the same teams again. Yep. So for the sake of variety, we thought it would be much more interesting for you guys to see all the characters because this game has over 100 characters. Yep. So we didn't want the same teams to be, you know, picked over and over. So, so we thought that this was the best decision. Yeah, that, that's basically what's going to happen today. So we won't be allowing you to pick the same character consecutively, but in the last the matchup, if the tied players, you know, have their matches, then no holds bars. Pick any character you want, and we want to see it really go down and be insane. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be looking forward to today. Exactly. So we have Spherex and Young Sensei. Both yes. players have been invited by Namco Bandai. Uh, they have not qualified in tournaments online, like you know, all the other players. Yep. Um, so that's going to be interesting to see the level of the VIP players. Yeah, like you know, two invited players from Namco Bandai. Let's see how this goes down. I do believe I have faced Young Sensei before, so let's see. And I know Spherex very well. Yep. Yeah, and you know him very well. So let's see who's really gonna bring their A game to this epic battle. Exactly. Spherex is also a caster on Twitch. He's one of the best players I know of. So that's going to be extremely interesting. Uh, yeah. I know they have completely opposite playstyles, so we're going to see fun stuff. 
Yeah, let's see which characters they pick. We are expecting a vast variety of characters. But, you know, the fan favorites are probably going to pop up from time to time. We're going to see our Sasuke's. We're going to see our Kaguya's. Our Naruto's. We're going to see our Naruto shadow clones popping out, trying to destroy everyone. But let's see if, you know, these players have come prepared, ready to defeat those and pick their own mains too. Exactly. So um, if you're not familiar with Storm 4, one of the biggest novelties of this, uh, this game is that you can now tech switch into your support characters. So you get to play three characters per match. So that's going to change things up a lot. Yeah, the matchups are going to be completely different. Yep, and pretty much that adds, adds to anyone's tactics and strategies with the team switching involved and all the other mechanisms slightly tweaked or, you know, brought from the previous games. We're going to see be people do some crazy stuff. Storm 4 is a visually beautiful game, so... Yeah, the, an the really animations excited. are absolutely outstanding. It's, yeah. it's even better than the anime itself. <laughs> it's, uh, it's absolutely beautiful. The, uh, the ultimate attacks are gorgeous. It's... Um, yeah. So if you're not familiar with the Naruto Storm series, this is a 3D fighting game with a really fast pace. Um, the execution barrier might be lower than what you would see in, in classic fighting games yeah. like Street Fighter or Tekken or, you know, this kind of fighting games. But it has a lot of mind games and a lot of pressure, a lot of, you know, it's very dense and very intense. Uh, so we really wanted to take this seriously and to show, to show the world that these games can be competitive too. Yeah. So... And basically with the round system being added, it means that people basically can get their tension raised in between rounds and you never know what's going to happen. Exactly. So, so the players are now picking their characters. Yep. With the West Ferex with Shino. Shino, interesting. Pain and Hinata. Yeah, let's see who Young Sensei picks. Pain and Hinata are really good supports. Let's see how he'll meld in the tag switching too. So this game has different type of characters. Um, Shino, which is the main character that Sphere just picked, he's a ranged character. Yeah. Which means he doesn't have a powerful melee, but he can attack from, you know, anywhere from the screen. Yeah. He has a crazy range, as his name implicates, and uh, it should be really interesting to see. Yeah. And it looked like... It looked like Young Sensei was going for Kasami, but it looks like he's changed to Sage Hashirama. So in this game, the characters have multiple jutsus, which are like special attacks, and multiple uh, ultimate jutsus for some of them, which is like the, the ultimate attacks. Um, you can only select that for the 